So we're talking about congruent triangles, and again, there are four possible combinations of sides and angles that give us congruent triangles without having to measure and know all six. That would be side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle. Notice in those two, the orientation, where the angle is inside angle, side, angle, side, angle, where the side is in angle, side, angle, and side, angle, angle. Again, where is the side? And those. Now, side angle angle is also referred to as angle angle side. It's, you know, if you look at it clockwise or look at it counterclockwise, that's the orientation they go. So we have to look at identifying situations and naming them. So let's look at this first picture. What they're giving us and what is the same, we're seeing that there is an angle that's the same. We're seeing that there is that uh, another angle that's the same, and then there's a side. So we're looking at an angle, angle, side. You know, the 65 has a 65 twin, 75 has a 75 twin, 10 has a 10 twin. So 65, 75, 10 is angle, angle, side, and that is one of ours. So yes, this is a situation where we're congruent. Let us look at this one. They give us um, side, side, so, you know, three sides. So that is side, 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 which, yes, that is one of our congruencies. We have here, we have an angle. There's the twin angles, twin angle side. So this, again, is angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side, which, yes, that is one of our congruencies. Now let's look here. We are given an angle, a side, a side, side, and an angle. Yeah, I'm trying not to write a bad word there. And the side, a side, and that is not one of our congruency situations. Here we know a side, an angle, and a side. SAS. And SAS is one of our congruencies. So that's a yes. So you should probably pause this and start doing these on your own. This one, they give us angle, a side, and an angle. Is angle, side, angle one of our congruencies? The answer would be yes. Here they give us an angle, and they don't tell us it, but we're supposed to know this. RQ it's the same in both triangles. So they also give us a side. And as you remember, two parts, not enough. Oop. Not enough info. So that'd be a no or not enough info. Here we have a side. But they also tell us things are parallel. And that's nice. If things are parallel, then some things are happening. So we've got a side. Um, right here, things cross. Those are vertical angles. So there's also an angle. Um, this parallel, this is the parallel transversal thing, you know, from Design a City. If I have a transversal cutting parallels, this angle up here is the same as this angle down here. That would be in alternate interior angles. So we have SAA, which is true. Now, we could look at it another way. We've got this side, okay, right? Side. And let's blow these numbers up. We got that side right here, and we got this angle right here for vertical. Now, we also, because this is parallel lines being cut by a transversal, this corner, corner A, is the same as corner C. So we also have an angle in front. Angle, side, angle, which is also congruency. Yay! All right, here we go again. Angle, a side, and a vertical angle. So that gives us an ASA, which ASA is one of them. Yes, there we go, congruent. Um, here we go again. A side, an angle. Vertical angles here, this bow tie concept, vertical angles. So that would be SAA, which, yes, is one of our congruencies. SAA. 
side angle, and then this angle they don't tell us, but it's vertical angles. We're supposed to know that. And here we go. We got a side. We got a side. Man. Oh, this side right here. We're the run the thing running up vertically. It's the same in both triangles. So we have a third side. So side, side, side is yes. That is also one of ours. And here we go again. We got side. We got an angle. Ooh, we got right angles too. So if that's right angle, that means that one's right angle also. So we got a side and an angle. And we know this vertical thing. This vertical side is in both triangles. Side angle, side. Awesome. Here we go. Uh, da -da -da, we got a side. We got an angle. And then again, this common side uh, gives us SAS, which is yes. That common side is actually called the reflexive property. One a side is the same as its reflection. Here we go. We got an angle. And we got uh, another angle here. Awesome. We got angle. We got angle. 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 Uh, but we don't know any sides. Angle angle is not enough. Not enough. Here we go again. We've got an angle. The two, the cor left corner, right corner, are same. And this side is the same. But we don't know anything else. Not enough. On a roll. We're on a roll. All righty. We've got an angle. We got a ninety degree angle down here, which means that one's ninety also. We've got another angle. Oh, this side, this vertical thing, it's in between them. It's in between the angles. It is also the same in both. So that's angle, side, angle, which is yes. Uh, here we go. We've got parallels. We've got an angle there. This is taking a long time. We've got an angle. These parallels being cut by a transversal tell us that this PQR is the same as R or as SRQ. So we've got angle. A common side and another angle. ASA. This angle up here, because of alternate interior angles, is the same as this one. Angle side angle. Um, what do we got here? We got oh, angle side angle. Too simple. Angle side angle. Yes, congruent. There we go.